I just watched 10 minutes of Good Morning America. I haven't watched TV in a while. I know people who are addicted to television if they're not working, sleeping, or eating. They are watching TV, and it's like having a friend. It's just like having a nice, warm, digital friend. It doesn't really... Content doesn't matter. Studies show that after 30 minutes of watching TV, your brain, you stop... You're, you are no longer able to realize what's happening. If you were to watch a show that was an hour long, in the middle of it, you would lose definition. You would lose, like, you wouldn't be able to repeat what had happened. You would just have, like, um, like programming, like, like just fucking hypnosis. Um, and these people, everybody watches TV. I can't believe it. Um, it's the most poisonous shit. It's a, a cacophony of sludge. It's, um... And it's not even, like, artful. It's not, like, artful manipulation. It's just the texture. It's so thick and so saturating that it's just, like, um... It's not like a mas It's not like some mastermind is making it. The artfulness is, like, the, the little drop of water that comes down and splashes off the beauty product in the commercial. Those little touches, the, like, the like icing on the cake but the actual cake is just um just fucking a guy hammering you in the head that's what the cake is um but i guess you wouldn't eat a cake without icing so i guess that icing is what gets the money that's who that's what they pay the money for anyway good morning america fucking unreal the the ping pong back and forth the they they hit you with two like two bad news stories and then a good one, a feel good one, and it's just like it's the 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 fucking the uh, the manipulation and the the shit is so obvious. This woman, um, a black woman with like three layers of makeup on, trying to make her look whiter, and her little pinched off nose that had obviously been um, you know surgically altered. She's talking about the rape of the housekeeper by that French guy, and then the train in China, and then she switches to some feel-good story, and she's like, <laughs> and it looks like this troop got to come home a little early, like three seconds after talking about a rape and a train derailment. It's f just fucking crazy, the, the, uh, the watching the newscasters, and then the, the news at the desk, at the desk, they're talking about the, the pop, pop heat meter, and they're like, uh, and they're talking about Spanx, and uh, there's the, and the new brand of, and the new type of Spanx is a workout pant that you wear on the outside. Be, you should be proud to wear your Spanx. Apparently, that's the message of this new campaign. Switch back to the guy at the desk. <laughs> Jeez, that, that's a little too much information. How many times have you heard that? If you work at a nine to five job, how many, how much humor at nine to five jobs do you hear like that? Regular regular people, they get their idea of how banter and rapport should work by watching TV. And, like, um, the, the Office is, like, the I guess the, the more, slightly more sophisticated end of that spectrum. But most people are operating off of, like, uh, what the fuck is that show? Big Bang Theory and um, That 70s Show and Friends. Just the things that they think it's it's okay to say in conversation to your friends to create like a feeling of I don't even know why they do it. It just creeps me the fuck out. Um, too much information. Like if I'm like uh, if someone's like, oh my god, when I was working, I used to, I did, I did, I did car sales and I did um, I worked in a motion gra uh, like a sports marketing firm. And they were both, they both had the same sense of humor. Where if somebody was like, uh, hey Sam, why are you, um, what's, like, what's wrong with your foot today? And I'd be like, oh, I, got an, I got an ingrown toenail, it hurts. And they'll be like, mm, too much information. Like, is that really too much information? Or are you just, or are you just saying that because you saw on a TV show, somebody talked about a health issue or something like that. And they said it was too much information. You fucking bitch! You know? Like, um... 
TMI. TMI. Is it really is it really too much information? Is it really too much information when I tell you that I like um What's too much information? What would a good example of that be that's not really too much information? Um, hey, Sam, how'd you get that scar on your arm? Oh, I was in a car accident a year ago. Too much information. You know? Um, look for that. Among your friends or the people that you talk to, pay attention to the way they have funny jokes back and forth and the way they talk and see if you can find one of those little kernels, those little nuggets of joy. Okay, good morning America. Total hell. What else? Ow. I guess that's it.